Welcome to another training session on TIA portal. In today's session, we will see how we can connect the S7 1200 PLC with the PC. Before starting today's session, I would request you guys to please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for more upcoming video tutorials. First of all, we will connect the 24 volt DC power supply wires to the PLC power supply input terminals and turn on the power. Next, connect one end of the Ethernet cable to the Ethernet port of the PLC and other end to the Ethernet port of the PC. By default, the IP address of S7 1200 PLC is set to 192.168.0.1. So we have to make some changes in the settings of the Ethernet adopter of the PC. To do this, we will open the network and internet settings. Next, select the Ethernet adopter and click on the change adopter options. Select the Ethernet adopter of the PC and open its properties. Scroll down and select TCP IPv4 and click on the properties button. Set the IP address as 192.168.0.100. And click OK and close all tabs. Next, open the TIA portal software. Click on the create new project and give it any suitable name and click on the create button. Once the project is created, click on the PLC programming tab. Here we will select our PLC model. If we see the right side of the PLC, there you will find mention the part number of the PLC. Our PLC part number is 214-1H031-0XB0. We will expand the CPU folder and select the same part number of the PLC and click OK button. Next, click on the project view. Expand the PLC folder and double click on the device configuration. Here you can see the PLC and its properties. Next, open the properties of the PLC and click on the IO tags tab. Here you will find the addresses of the PLC digital and analog IOs. Next, open the main OB1 by double clicking on it. Once it is open, we will make simple ladder logic using PLC digital IOs. Next, we will download this program into the PLC by clicking on this download button. Here we have to select the interface to connect with the PLC. From the drop down menu, we will select the Profinet channel. Next, we will select the Ethernet card of the PC and click on the search button. As you can see that we have found the PLC at the IP address 192.168.0.1 We can confirm the selected PLC by clicking on the flash LED button. You can see that now our PLC LEDs are flashing on and off which means that we have searched the correct PLC device. Next we will click on the load button and project starts to load into the PLC. You may need to stop the PLC before we start to load the project into the PLC. Once the project is loaded into the PLC, we can monitor the ladder logic using this monitor button. So this is how to create a project in the TIA portal and download this project into the PLC. In the next video tutorial, we will learn how we can read the analog signals from the analog transmitters and scale these signals in the S7 1200 PLC. Before leaving, I would request you guys to please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon for more upcoming video tutorials.